guys, so today's video is going to be my 2016, no, my 2015 favorites. I just filmed this video and when I stuck my memory card into my computer, the footage was so blurry and I just like, I just wanted to cry because it took me like an hour and a half to film, but that's okay. We're gonna do it again. Second time is going to be the charm. Not the third time. Dear God, please, not the third time. Um, I had a cute little kimono one, and then I spilled my entire cup of tea all over myself. I'm currently sitting on a towel, and I'm in a grubby t-shirt, but the show must go on. So hi guys, I have not talked to you in over a week. For those of you that don't follow me on social media, this is my new beauty room. This is gonna be one of my backgrounds. You'll also see, like when I film facing this way, you'll see my other background, which is just like my little Alex drawers with some cute stuff, and then my nail polish rack. But yeah, the move went well. We are in our home, still trying to get settled in. I'm sorry I haven't had a video up in a week. I honestly did not think it would take me as long to get this room in order, but a bitch has a lot of makeup. So it took me a few more days than I thought it would. But alas, I am here with my 2015 favorites. This video is going to be extremely long. So instead of grabbing a snack, you should probably grab an entire meal, like order a steak, a baked potato, a salad. You better get an appetizer as well. So I have a lot of stuff to talk with you guys about. I really tried to narrow it down to the best of the best. Like there are a ton of products that I love, but this is just like top shelf, best of the best, like beauty box kind of products. Like only the best of the best make it into that box. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I hope you guys are ready for like an hour long video. And if you are, let's do this. That was so weird. So I'm gonna go through products the way that I would apply them to my face, but I do have two things to talk about before that kind of don't fit into a category. So the first thing is MAC Fix Plus. This is like my life. I could not live without this product. I feel like I'm gonna say that about everything that I talk about today, but this I get a lot of questions on, and this is the rose scented one, that's why it's pink. Um, a Fix Plus is not a setting spray, like it doesn't prolong the life of your makeup. For that you would need something like Scandinavia, um, like the makeup finishing spray. This is actually a setting spray that's gonna prolong your makeup and really like hold on to your makeup and make it last throughout the day. Fix Plus is just, like how do I even explain it? I just, I put this on because by the time I'm done with my makeup and I've done like powder and bronzer and contour and highlight, it, there's a lot of powder on your face and Fix Plus just helps to like calm all of those powders down and it gives you this like dewy finish and it just makes everything mesh together and look a thousand times better. I could not live without this. I douse myself in this every time I do my makeup. I spray makeup brushes with this, my beauty blender. Like this is a product that I grab for every day numerous times. A fix plus, I can't even tell you guys like how much I love it. <laughs> like. The other product I want to talk about is the Sephora Solid Brush Cleanser. Now, you guys know that I've been using the Beauty Blender Solid for years, and that's like 22 bucks, so it's a little bit pricey. And then I discovered this little gem, and this is still $14, so to some people that might still be like too much to pay for a brush cleaner, but this stuff is amazing. How many times am I going to say amazing in this video? This is just a bar of soap but it works so well like it gets my brushes so clean doesn't leave behind any residue i love this way more than the beauty blender solid which i never thought i would find one that was better but this is better it just it works it freaking works and i love it so much okay so now getting into the makeup i am screaming but that's okay we're just gonna go with it i am starting with primer and i have a lot of primers but i'll try to breeze through them so, the first one, I feel like I'm missing something. Wait, oh, I am, haha, <laughs> my favorite one. So first off, let me start with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. We all have Nikki tutorials to blame for this. She discovered this, she told us about it, and it just took over YouTube. This is my favorite primer of the year. I have never used a primer as good as this. And I did a first impression on this with you guys, and I knew that day that I was gonna love it. Like, it just, it made my makeup look so good. It 
I feel like it prolongs my makeup. It doesn't break me out. Like, I just, I am so in love with this. I am probably about halfway. Ooh, I have a little hangnail. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm probably like halfway down. I use this every single time I do my makeup. I have not used another primer since I discovered this. That is sad, but I'm hooked. I am so hooked on this. I love it so much. And then I also really, really like the Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. This is nice for days when I'm feeling dry. Even though it's a matte primer, it does kind of feel like a moisturizer, so I feel like it's hydrating. It does keep me matte, it does prolong my makeup, and it has salicylic acid in it, so it's good if your skin is kind of acting up and breaking out. And then as far as like pore filling primers, the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer is really good. I used to use Benefits Professional, but I was never like 100% in love with it because I felt like it could kind of like ball up and get like weird little, I don't know, I got like flaky on my skin. And then I used the Smashbox one, and that one I really liked, but then when I found this, I was just like, this is it. This is the one that I've been looking for. My pores are not that big that I have to really go in and like fill them in, but for days where I feel like they're just looking gigantic, I will use this and it works really, really well. Okay, so that's it for primers. Moving on to foundation, there is only one. You guys know what it is. You guys all know what it is. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is my all-time favorite foundation. There is nothing ever, I don't think, that will top this. I feel like I keep trying to find something that I like better, and I just can't. This, for me, is just the perfect foundation. It gives me really good coverage. I'm wearing it today, by the way. It gives me really good coverage, but it doesn't look like makeup. Most found, actually all foundations on me, like you put it on and it looks nice, but when you really get close up into the mirror, it's like, whoo, or when you get into the car mirror, do you guys ever do your makeup at home and you're like, damn, I'm looking fly. Then you get into the car and you pull down the mirror and you're like, oh shit, a bitch went hard. Like that car mirror will tell all secrets. It will just put you on blast. This, even when I look in my little car mirror, my skin still looks really good, really natural, but it gives good coverage. I have to be careful with this in the summer because I am greasy, so this I can only wear for like four hours in the summer, but I still wear it constantly because it just looks so good on my skin. Okay, concealer. There are two in my life. I am very, very picky with concealer. I'm not one of those people that has like 20 favorite concealers. I feel like a good concealer is very, very hard to come by, so when I find one that I love, I just, I ride it until it dies. So my all-time favorite concealer, and the one that I have used more than any other in my lifetime, is the Urban Decay Naked Skin. You guys have seen me use this a million times. It has this little wand, and it just, I don't know, everything about it's perfect. The application, it blends out beautifully, it doesn't crease on me, it lasts all day. Like all of those checkpoints, like all of those boxes, this checks all of my boxes. So this is the perfect concealer for me. But recently I have discovered the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And when I first got this, I was like, I never like tube concealers. They just never work for me, but this, you guys, I was so wrong. This is so good. This is very full coverage. It's very creamy, so I do have to go in right away and set it. But this is really, really good. A little bit goes a very, very long way. It lasts all day. It's a gorgeous shade. I wear Y31. It's very yellow, but if you're my skin tone, this would probably work for you. I love this. Makeup Forever usually kills it, but they really, really killed it with this one. And my foot is asleep, so oh, let's me adjust. Okay, as far as setting powders, I have two powders to talk about, but the one that I use, I mean, does this come as any surprise? The one that I use to set my concealer is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder, and this is the pressed one. Love the pressed, love the loose, but the pressed one is the one that I use the majority of the time. And look, I opened a new one. My old one was so janky. It was looking really ratchet, so I opened a new one. This is a very odd powder because when I first opened this, I have to take a spoolie and like scrape the top layer off, which 
it's like, why do you have to do that? That kind of annoys me because this is NARS, so it's expensive. But this powder is the lightest powder I've ever used. Like, it looks like nothing, but it sets everything. It gives you a little bit of that light reflecting quality. It just, I cannot find any powder that I like better than this. You can pile this on. Like, I could sit here for an hour and just keep putting it on, and it never looks heavy. My skin is very, very picky with powder. They tend to look very heavy and cakey on my skin. I watched a video the other day, and this girl packed on probably like five different powders, and I was thinking, oh my god, my skin would be so pissed at me if I would do that. Some people can handle a lot of powder. I cannot. So this for me is just the best. And then I also love the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Are you guys tired of hearing people talk about this? This I love for baking. This just, I don't know what it is about this, but it's very thin. It wipes away nicely. Like once the baking process is done, it just kind of wipes away. It blends in with the rest of my makeup very well. When I got this, I was like, I am never going to use that entire thing up, and I am like less than halfway. So I love this powder. It's amazing if you need a really good setting powder. Laura Mercier, best you're going to get. Whew, you guys, I don't know if my voice is going to make it this whole time. Okay, so after setting powder, let's talk about eye primer. There is only one eye primer in my life. Oh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so... You guys should know, I mean, if you follow me, if you're new, hi, my name's Nicole, and I have the greasiest eyelids you will ever see in your life. So my eyelids are extremely greasy. Like, before I really knew about makeup, I would do my eye makeup, and then, like, ten minutes later, I would be like, why do my eyes look like this? Like, why don't other people's look like this? It was creasing, and it was because I was not using an eye primer. So I have tried so many of them. The best one I've ever found is the Smashbox 24-Hour Photo Finish Eye Primer. You guys have seen me use this pretty much in every, actually in every Get Ready With Me video I've done or makeup tutorial. I never apply eyeshadow without this. So this is the best eye primer. This will hold my shadow for days. Never, ever creases. You need this. Trust me. It is the best. Okay, so for eyeshadows, I'm not going to talk about singles because I just did a favorite eyeshadow singles video. So like Makeup Geek, MAC, Anastasia, they were all in that video. I will link that down below for you guys. So today we're just going to talk about a few palettes if I can find them. I know I have one. Oh, here it is. Okay, so the first one is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Now, everybody was talking about the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, which, I don't know, I just didn't love that as one. As far as the eyeshadows, I just felt that they were so pigmented that they were sometimes a little bit scary. Like, some of the dark shades, when I would go in, I was just like, oh, this is never going to blend out, like I'm going to be here for an hour. That, to me, is not a good thing. Like, with really pigmented blushes... I'd rather have a sheer one that I need to build up. Now these are pigmented, but they're not as pigmented. They're just, like they're easy. You just go in and you can just go in and blend it. You don't have to be like super precise. They're super soft. They blend beautifully. I just love this. I mean, obviously I'm already hitting pan. This, in my opinion, is the best matte palette on the market. I feel like nobody really knows about this. Everybody is hyped up over the Kat Von D one, but you guys, seriously, this Too Faced one is the bomb. I love it so, so, so much. I love all of these products, obviously. And then another palette I have to mention is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I feel like I'm the only person that's going to have this in a 2015 favorites, but I am still so in love with this. And... You wouldn't think I would get that much use out of it because, hello, they are like hella bright. But even if I'm doing just like a warm eye, I will go in with this pink shade or like, uh, huh, or this, like this orchid shade, the purple shade I use a ton. I get so much use out of this palette. I don't know why. I just, I just do. I don't know why. I just do. Another palette I must mention is the Morphe. 350 palette. This took over YouTube. People were cutting bitches to get their hands on this palette. Like, people were going hard. People were pissed at me because I had it. And I was like, 
you can have it too. You just have to wait till they restock, which they do restock a lot. So just keep an eye on Morphe's website if you're still trying to get this palette. Just don't hurt anyone. Um, this, I mean, for good reason. This is so pigmented, so blendable. It's the perfect, like, warm, neutral palette. I've hit pan on one shade. I'm about to hit pan on this shade. Every shade in here, how many times can I say shade? Every color in here is phenomenal. There is not one shadow in here that is not good. They all work really well together. Like, I see what the hype is about. The hype is real for a good reason. This palette is my favorite eye palette of 2015. Definitely. It's all you need in your life. Just wave it around. Okay, I'm just going to move on. And then the last palette I want to mention... There's a story. Of course there's a story. So I got the Tarte Tartlet palette after a very long while. I heard people talk about it. Some loved it. Some hated it. Finally got it, and I was just like, this is terrible. It, I didn't like it. I didn't think it was blendable. I just, I wasn't a fan. So when my friend Courtney got me the Tartlet and Bloom palette, I was like, you wasted your money because the Tartlet palette I did not like. And she was like, trust me, just try it. So I tried it. And I fell in love. This palette is awesome. Why is your brother not as good as you? Like, the Tartlet palette, if you tried that and didn't like it, I'm telling you, try this one. It's really good. I have this on today. Not on my lid, but all in my crease and brow bone. It's all this. The shadows are so nice. They're just soft and blendable, and they're easy to work with. I love this palette. I love that it's tiny. I love the packaging. Amazing palette. I wish the original Tartlet was this good, but it wasn't. Tartlet and Bloom, my bitch. Okay, so that's it for eyeshadows. Eyeliner, there is only one in my life. You guys already know what I'm going to show you. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. This, my friends, I have put up against NARS and Makeup Forever and Urban Decay and all of these high-end brands, Chantecaille. Like, I've tried so, so many black eyeliners, and there is none that compare to my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I think this was in my 2014 favorites. Um, this is just the best. It's creamy. It lasts all day on my waterline. It doesn't tug. It's the best. So if you need a black eyeliner and you have not tried this, what are you waiting for? Um, oh, brows. I skipped right over brows. I'm already losing my voice, you guys. Okay, so of course I'm going to mention Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is my Holy Grail eyebrow pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Always and forever. This will be my favorite. But this year I discovered the Brow Power Super Skinny from It Cosmetics. This is really comparable. It's pretty much the same size. Like it has that very little tiny, am I still in focus? It has that very tiny point and it's waxy but not too waxy. I did an entire video on these. I love this. It's the closest thing that I found to the Brow Wiz and it's good. And then as far as tinted brow gels go, the L'Oreal, let's see if I can remember the name, Brow Stylist Plumper. Plumper, that's a weird word. Say it with me. Plumper, right? Anyway, um, this is hands down the best eyebrow gel I've ever used. And it's drugstore. I've tried the Anastasia one. I've tried, I mean, I've tried a ton of brow gels and nothing, nothing comes close to it. It has little fibers in it. And I use this even on days I'm not wearing makeup. I'll just like run it through my brows. It makes your brows look thicker, but the consistency of it is so nice. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It lasts all day. I'm telling you guys, seriously, go try this, please. It's drugstore, so it's not that expensive. Go buy this in your shade and try it, and you can come and talk to mama later, because you're going to fall in love. It's so good. I just want to throw this at the camera, but I can't. You guys know I get excited. Okay, what's next? Oh, mascara. I have three of them, I think, or four. Four. Okay, so the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lash. Now, I never would have tried this because it's like 30 bucks, but this was sent to me. 
oh my god. This is the best high-end mascara I've ever used other than Bobbi Brown Smokey Eye. I was going to say um, Bobbi Brown, my prerogative. That just popped into my head. This makes your lashes very voluminous. It's not very lengthening, but for volume, this is amazing. Sorry if I keep saying the word amazing. It just fits with everything. It's just amazing. Um, mine is pretty much empty, but I love to pair this with one of the two drugstore mascaras I'm about to show you. Like I will put them on for the length and then this for volume. It's all you need, it's the best. Okay, two drugstore favorites. I don't know which one I like better. I think I like this one, this guy. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It's what I have on today. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. This makes my lashes so insanely long and you guys, I've discovered a secret. I don't know if it's a well-known secret, but if you dust translucent powder on your lashes before you put mascara on, it will make them so much better. Just take a little bit of like Laura Mercier translucent powder and just run it on your lashes. It makes such a big difference. I don't know why. I don't even know where I heard that, but I started doing it. I will never go without translucent powder on my lashes again. But this makes my lashes so long. It's not clumpy. It doesn't flake. This could possibly be my favorite mascara ever from the drugstore. Like, it's my roll dog. It is my homie. And then the other one I love is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. You guys have heard me talk about this. I'm so sorry my voice sounds like this. <clears throat> Let me take a drink break. Okay, I'm all right. Um, this, again, makes my lashes so long. The wand is very weird. It's like super, super tiny. But... This is just good. It doesn't, I hate when I get those flakes. That like drives me crazy. Or when I get it up here, like after going all day and talking to all these people, you look in the mirror and you have this like a black ring and it's like, why the F did nobody tell me that that was happening? But that does not happen with either of these. These are both phenomenal. So good. So stinking good. And then I want to mention my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. This is my favorite lower lash mascara. I know. That's like high maintenance. Like you need a separate one. I do. This wand is just the perfect size. Like the Clinique Lower Lash Mascara, that wand drove me up a wall. I felt like a psycho trying to like, the wand is so freaking tiny that I couldn't even, I just couldn't. I got fed up with that shit real fast. But this wand is perfect. It's small, but it's not too small. And this makes my lashes long, sexy, and I love it. And it's amazing. What is all this? Could you stop that? I feel like I have a lot of contour powders. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, I have a few contour powders to mention. So the first one is the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Super BB Bronzer. I discovered this in December, but I have to mention it because I have used it pretty much every day since I got it. This is so good. It's very light, so you can just really go in and you don't have to be super precise, but it's very, very blendable. The color is perfect. I've already bought a backup of this. I love this so, so, so much. Another one that I love, I think this was also on last year's favorites, Girlactic Matte Bronzer in Cabo. The shade is just so gorgeous. This is so easy to contour with. It's just blendable and I love this color. This color is just drop dead, like you just fall over die, dead, bang. I love that it's not too ashy, it's not too warm, it's just the perfect shade for my skin tone. Girlactic products are amazing, I love Girlactic. I have a code for Girlactic, if you guys order anything, it gets you 15% off. I will have all of my codes down below if you guys are ordering anything, just check down there so you can get a discount. And then another one that I love is the Marc Jacobs Instamark Light Filter and Contour Powder in Mirage Filter. As you can see, I love this. It's very, very soft, but there's just something about it. Like when you start to contour, it just like blends itself out. They're so easy to work with. I've started using this banana shade now and it is gorgeous under the eyes. So this for me is probably my favorite of the year. I, I go hard with this. I mean, it's the size of a damn Frisbee, but I love it. And then the last ones I want to mention are these two from Sephora. These are the Sephora brand powders. 
They don't have names on them, so I'm going to have to like pop them up on the screen, but this is my favorite one. This shade is my ideal shade. If I would like create a contour shade, this would be it. It's tan. It's not too dark. It is just perfect for my skin tone. I love this so much. Like I get very, very passionate about this. You guys will hear more about this in my Sephora brand part two video, but just know this, me and this, we're going steady. I have its varsity jacket and I wear it. And we go to the drive-in movie on Friday nights, okay? Okay, one quick mention of the Physician's Formula Happy Booster. This is the little hearts. They're like, they have this like gold sheen to them. If your skin is just looking dull or like wintry, I mean, there's two feet of snow on the ground right now. Like it's currently a blizzard outside. I can't even get out of my house. Um, when your skin is feeling dull, like that winter death look <laughs> this will make your skin just look alive amazing amazing okay blushes god you guys i'm not, my voice is going to be gone by the end of this video okay i feel like i have a lot of blushes to talk about oh and i forgot an eyeshadow can i just squeeze this in real quick this is ColourPop thirsty girl this is what is on my lid today i've hit pan i'm so proud of myself like, I've never hit pan on a ColourPop eyeshadow, but I have hit pan on Thirsty Girl, you thirsty little bitch. I love this eyeshadow. Like, look at this color, you guys. It's just so pretty, and it has gold glitter in it, which might sound very scary. But to me, it is just... I just love it. I can't get enough of it. I never get tired of this color. It is so stinking pretty. So I had to mention it. Even though I talked about it in my single eyeshadow video, I had to mention it again. Okay, blushes. So first I want to mention MAC Margin. This is a new blush in my life, so it's not really a 2015 favorite, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I am loving it. I just wanted to squeeze that in. As far as 2015 favorites go, the Sephora blushes, I will pop the names up on the screen in this order in case you guys are interested. They're not on the back, which is so stupid. But these are so beautiful. The pigmentation is perfect. They're not too pigmented. They just apply so nicely. They look so natural. Color payoff is just good. I love these. These Sephora powders, I'm telling you guys, they are some of the best I've ever used in my entire life. And they're inexpensive. They're like up against NARS and Becca and all of these really high-end brands. Like these are so much cheaper and they are just as good if not better. Okay, I gotta mention MAC Warm Soul. This is my all-time favorite blush. Whenever I think of my all-time favorite blush, this comes to mind. It's just so easy to apply and it makes my face look so pretty and it has a little bit of sheen to it. It just checks all my boxes. You know what I mean? Did I already say that in this video? Like, don't ever check a box twice, you bitch. Okay, I guess that's it for blushes. Now we are moving on to highlighter, the most favoritest part of this video. Okay, I have four highlighters to talk with you guys about. The first one is ColourPop Parasol. So this was only available... Oh, wait, I'm losing the lid. This one was only available in a set. Like, you had to get this little kit. But this color is so pretty. It's like a, let me show you guys. It's like a peachy gold. It's a little bit more peach than all of my other highlighters, which is why I like it so much because it's different. But this on the tops of the cheekbones just makes your skin look so pretty. I love Parasol. Like ColourPop, wait, where's the lid? ColourPop, why will you not make this? available by itself. Nobody wants to buy the whole set. We just want Parasol. I mean, maybe they did and I don't know about it, but if you can get this individually, it is the best highlighter that ColourPop does. It's my love. And then I also want to talk about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Now this I wouldn't really consider a highlighter. This I kind of just take a big fluffy brush and kind of sweep it under my eyes or on my chin or on my forehead. If, again, my skin is feeling dull. This is one of those products that it's very, very subtle. Like if I were to go off camera right now and put this on and come back, some of you might be like, you look a little bit different. You look a little bit better, but I don't know why. It's one of those 
products that's very, very subtle, but it adds something. But you can't like pinpoint what it is. I love this. I feel like there are many imposters out there that try to do this, but nobody can do it as good as Hourglass. And then my two favorite highlighters of the year. The first one is Anastasia So Hollywood. I fell into a deep love affair with gold highlighters. I don't know why. I don't know when it came about, but... I will die for a gold highlighter. Like, I will cut numerous bitches for a gold highlighter. Look at that. It just looks like liquid gold on your face. Or on my hand, but you know what I mean. This is so pretty. Every time I put this on, I'm just like, oh my god, why is it so pretty? Like, there's something about highlighting that just makes my life so happy. These are amazing. I just bought the new Anastasia highlighters. They're in like that little square kit and there's four of them. I bought the gold one. That glow, I think it's called. So it's on its way to me. So I'm very excited about that. And then my all-time favorite highlighter in the history of highlighters. You guys already know, right? Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is so pretty. I mean this, there are did you hear that? That was my phone. There are gold highlighters and then there's Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This on the skin, I mean, there is nothing that's as pretty as this. Like, are you seeing that? I have this one today. Look, why is it so pretty? There, are, There's no words. There's no words for this. If you like gold highlighters and you don't have this, even if you don't like gold highlighters and you don't have this, like, what is wrong with you? Go, right now go buy it. Okay, so that's it for highlighters. That was quick and painless. What are we moving on to? Are we at lips already? We are. Okay, so I feel like I have a lot of lip products to show you guys, so we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to cruise through this shit. Okay, girl? Okay, first and foremost, we need to talk about Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. Now, 2015 was the year of the liquid lip. Um, I am still very torn on them. I would say like 60% of the ones that are out there I'm not a fan of. I love Ofra. I love Girlactic. I like Dose. I used to love them more than I do now. I feel like they're getting a little bit dry, but the colors are so pretty. And I love Jeffree Star, best of all. His are so, so good. Every brand that does liquid lips should cater their product or like conform their product to be more like Jeffree Star. So they should try to be more like Jeffree Star, basically, because he has discovered the perfect formulation. He has created the perfect formulation. These are the best liquid lipstick I have ever used in my entire life. I am so picky when it comes to them because my lips are very sensitive. They get very dry very quickly. These I can wear for hours and hours. They don't dry my lips out. I don't get butthole lips. These are the best. Like, I could talk about these for hours. They are so good. Jeffree Star, I bow down to you. You are my queen. Oh, and by the way, the shades that I have, I have a bunch of them, but my two favorites are Androgyny. Look at that shit. Like, don't even try to tell me you don't like it. That shit is amazing. The other one I love is Doll Parts. I like Androgyny more, but look at those two. Like, come on. Your life is complete. That's all that you need. Okay, some other lip products that I loved. Two from ColourPop. The first one is Tootsie, which is this, like, dark nude. Really, really pretty on the lips. I love ColourPop's lippies. I have probably almost all of them, if not all of them. They're, oh, you can't see them, but they're back there. And then this is what I'm wearing. This is my favorite one of 2015. This is Oh Snap. It's probably all worn off because I feel like I've been through a war. I spilled tea. Did I tell you guys? I spilled tea all over myself. Anyway, Oh Snap is the perfect, like, pinky nude shade. It wears forever. It's very comfortable. You need Oh Snap in your life if you like nude lips. Oh, my two favorites from Sephora that I feel like I've talked about a thousand times this year. Iced Coffee is, like, that oil one that I've talked about many, many times. This is constantly in my purse. It's, like, so comfortable, and it's, like, balmy and amazing and good and happy and it makes me want to just throw grandma down those steps. 
And then the other one is Rouge Shine Number no. 1, another one that I feel like I have beat like a dead horse. But it's just so sheer and it's nude and it's comfortable. These are, I mean, these are my favorites. These are the best, which is why I'm feeling a little bit like, I can't even like tell you how good they are. So I have to like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, moving on. I have a couple from Ofra. I love Ofra's formula. This one is Manhattan. This is my favorite one. This is so freaking pretty and it's unique. It doesn't look like every other berry lipstick on the market. I look so good in Manhattan. Like not to toot my own horn, but I look so good in this color. Like it just looks really nice with my skin tone. I don't know. And another one that I love is Brooklyn. This is like a dark brown and it is so sexy and so pretty. It's like melted chocolate on your damn lips. Look at that. Ugh. Ofra comes out with the best colors. I will give them that. Their color selection is phenomenal. One from Girlactic to mention this is Posh and Girlactic's matte lip paints are the bomb. They're really good. This one's like a nude shade but it has like a peach undertone to it which is usually not what I go for but for some reason this looks really good on me old lips. Um, and then I want to mention my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know my obsession with this. This is always in my purse. I wear this like every day of my life. This is the one that has like a peachy gold tint to it. Let me see if I can show you guys. But can you see that there? It just has the prettiest glow to it. You know what reminds me of this? And it's actually one of my favorites. So let me grab it. Here it is. Um, the Jouer Gloss in Mimosa. This looks a lot like the um, Bite Beauty one. It's just like a peachy shade with a ton of gold sheen to it. The Bite Beauty one is very, very thick and moisturizing. So if your lips are feeling really, really dry, I love this because you're getting the balm, but you're also getting color. So it almost looks like you have this really gorgeous gloss on, but it's just lip balm. The Bite Beauty is like my ride or die. I thought I lost it and I like ripped my room apart. Oh, I have one from Anastasia to mention. This is Sad Girl and this is such a unique shade. It has like a little bit of, not shimmer in it, but it has this like purple glitter. I know that sounds hideous, but that's it right there. And once it dries and you like rub your lips, you can really see the glitter come out and it is so pretty. I could not find this for the longest time it was sold out and once I found it I was like I thought I was the baddest bitch in town. Oh props to my fresh sugar lip treatment. The best lip balm to ever walk the earth. Yes it has legs. As far as lip liners go my favorites this year were the Marc Jacobs pout liners. I have Primrose and Nudist. These are expensive, they're Marc Jacobs, but I have used these so many times and I still have a ton of product left and they just, they wear so nicely, they don't need sharpened. I go through so many lip liners, like with, you know, my job, I try a ton of different lip liners and these are the best. Other than like MAC, I think these are my faves. I also want to mention Chelsea Girls from NARS. This is one of my favorite glosses. It just has this gorgeous peachy tone to it and it looks good over any nude, pink, any kind of lipstick. This is so stinking pretty. Oh, and my favorite lip gloss of all time, which I also mentioned in last year's favorites, is Napoleon Purtis, the Luminous Lip Veil in In the Flesh. I don't know what it is about this, but it makes your lips look so plump and sexy and voluminous. It's just this really, it's just this light pink. It doesn't have any sheen to it, no shimmer, but it just makes your lips look so good. This over a nude lip drops mic and walks off stage or drops lip gloss. Excuse me. I forgot to mention this. It's not a 2015 favorite, but you guys, this MAC palette that I got, I will put the name of it down below. I am so hardcore in love with this like every shade emphasize peaches um what is this shape or sculpt all of them like fleur power sun basque they're all so freaking good every single shade i i urge all of you to go buy this because 
I've been using this every day, every shade. Like, I find a way to use every single shade. I'm head over mother freaking heels. And I had to tell you about it. Because that's what I do. I tell you guys when I like stuff because I love you. Could that be everything? I think we're done, you guys. I feel like we have been here for two and a half hours. I'm so sorry. But I had a lot of shit to talk about. So, that is it for my 2015 favorites. These are like the best of the best. You will not go wrong with any of these products. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited for 2016. I feel like I have so many amazing videos planned for you. Hopefully they'll be just as amazing once I film them because in my head, they're just off the chain. I'm planning like a morning routine, night routine. I'm planning a brush cleaning video very soon. I want to film that for you guys. I just feel like 2016 is going to be a really good year for us. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through 2015. We had some rough patches and you guys were just so amazing and so supportive and I couldn't have done it without you. I just love you guys so much. I think you know that by now. I feel like I tell you this in every single video, but I do. I love you guys. So, I feel like I'm about to lose my voice, but thank you guys. If you made it till the end of this video, you seriously deserve, like, a $50 Sephora gift card. I wish I could give everybody one, but instead I'll give you a high five. Ready? Um, you guys can also tell me your favorites down below, like your one favorite holy grail product of 2015. Will you tell me what it was down below? Because I want to know. I will see you very soon with... A new video, 2016. Let's do this. Okay, I'm just gonna go now. I love you guys. Bye. I feel like I just filmed in this shirt. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm a cute little kimono and I bumped it all over it. <laughs> you will do bad things to people for this. Like, you, if somebody said, I'm gonna take your Lauren Geller gilded honey, you may cut their hand off and be perfectly fine with it. Like, just chop and walk away and not think twice. Like, and here's your friend, handless, and you don't care. That could be a problem. My gilded honey just fell. Excuse me. <laughs> Come on in, reel it in for a big hug. Wait, I don't know, Okay, reel it in. Come on, ready? One, two, three. Three. Group hug. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, Laura Gallery Gilded Honey, why are you so pretty? How good is it, you ask? It is so good, you will. What would you do? You would pour scalding soup on your head for it. That's good. That's good shit. 2015 was a really, really great year. Oh, you guys. I, oh! Oh my god, what the hell are you filming? A porno? So much shit to talk with you guys about, it's not even funny, and I have a kink in my neck, so if I just do this the whole video, don't mind me, okay, I'm just trying to work it out. Can you work it? Let me work it. Let my thing down. Okay. It is good. Good. Like, psh, slap on mama good. If I start to export footage and this shit is not in focus, do you know what's gonna happen? Do you know? You don't wanna know. How will I know if he really loves me? Pretty on your face? Why are you so excited? You're such a creeper. I can't help it. It's so good. I need a minute. It's so cute. It's so cute. I just can't. I cannot. This will be one background. This will be one background. I have this and this is not working. What is wrong? Why can't you film? It's like you forget. I'm gonna get out of the film. Throwing that shit together in a hot minute. Hi ish. I'm going down there, baby. Yes, you're Boom, boom, baby. Where you wanna go? Shimmy, shimmy, go, 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 I know this is not a 2015 favorite, but goddamn, Mac, what are you doing to me? Why is this so good? <laughs> That's not it. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna say I'm sorry. Oh, God. There's too many good products in front of me. I can't concentrate. I need a drink. Where's my wine? What are you looking at? You better work, bitch. Oh, shh. Are you joking? <laughs>